This is the second video on soft matter physics focusing on colloids. Colloid is a mixer of small particles in a medium. Let's dissect this sentence one by one. First, how small? Let's put the upper limit in the size, the width of your hair. If you think that is small, then colloidal particles are even smaller than that. In another word, you can also say the particles should be smaller than your eye can see them. But how much smaller the particle can be? What is the lower limit of the size? As you already know, the colloidal particles are mixed in some particular medium. So basically, the size of the colloidal particle should be bigger than the size of the molecule of the medium. Second word is particle. So particle of what? Well, particle can be any tiny solid stuff made from polymers, metals like gold and silver, inorganic materials, and even protein and viruses. Sometimes it can be liquid and even gas. Defining particle by default explain what a medium can be. Mostly the medium is liquid like water, oil, etc. or gas, but sometimes it can be solid. But why is the size of the particle so important? It is because if the size of the particle is very very small, it will suspend in the medium and if it is too big, it will sediment at the bottom of the medium. Thus, the size of the particle should be in the range as described above. Now you might be wondering, where have I seen colloids? Well, you might be drinking a colloid while watching this video, only if you tend to love milk so much. Yes, milk is colloidal suspension of fats and proteins. The paint before being painted on the wall is colloid of small polymers in oil or water, which after drying out make a thin coating of plastic on the wall. The gold colloids have been used for long in stained glass windows, the mayonnaise and the cream you are eating, the cigarette smoke to dust particles in air, and many more are colloids. Me saying tiny particles might give you a false impression that colloidal particles are always small spherical in shape. While the truth is, it occurs in many different shapes like ellipsoid, rod, disc, tiles, and many more. The more interesting properties of colloids come from how colloidal particles arrange themselves. High enough concentration of identical colloidal particles in some cases can result in a crystal-like behavior. They commonly go with the name of colloidal crystals. More importantly, scientists can tune the gap in between colloidal particles. It happens to be that the spacing between colloidal particles is just right for the visible light to diffract. Such a diffraction leads to beautiful colors. Remember, this color is not coming from the dye or pigment, it is coming from the structure. Colloidal crystals have a potential application in photonics. Now looking in the world of biology, virus show colloidal behavior as they suspend in the blood. And of course, virus do come in variety of shapes. Now you see, the virus have been studied in soft matter physics by physicists for their physical property, not just for their biological function. Similarly, starch in many food including rice and potato are colloids. Next time you drink a milk or eat a mayonnaise, don't just take it as a food. This is the soft matter and it has an amazing behavior in its own.